Alright guys, um, just a bit of an update. The first thing I want to say about the politics that's going on in the Philippines between expats, it's a cycle. And what, what I find really bizarre with a lot of this stuff is people act as if they're on some sort of crusade of some description. Yet, they're... <laughs> It's rather bizarre. The stuff that goes on in the Philippines, and this is where their focus is, and they act as if they're doing something really big or whatever, it's people just keeping themselves occupied, let's be honest. I mean, if they had to deal with something that was actually relevant or um, life-changing or um, high-risk, they wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. And the same trolling stuff's been ongoing for years. That's why, uh, quite simply, I can't be bothered with it. Um, so from that point of view, I don't care. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not getting baited into this stuff with these people trying to drag me into it. At the same time, they then don't like people talking about them. And it's really peculiar and it's very strange, but that's generally trolls. They do not like the camera review uh, reversed and going, let's talk about you. It's like, no, I don't want to talk about me. I'm going to re report you to this or do that. That's pathetic. Anyway, um, so the negative stuff's out of the way. Today I'm working on a training course related to uh, day trading and swing trading and it's not going to be done today. It's about probably going to be about 30 videos on it to break it all down. I'm bringing it up but it's not going on this channel. I'll tell you that now. The information in there is something that can be sold and I just want to put this up there. That as a training course it's high value. Um, but I just wanted to show that it's the sort of thing you could do. You know, at the end of the day, there's lots of stuff out there where people want the information. And a lot of stuff on YouTube, people give it away when they should actually just simply go, if you want that course, go and buy it. You know, whether it's $50, $100, $1,000, doesn't really matter. It depends what the course is and the value people get out of it. Um, but ultimately, separating that off and saying, there's the course, if you want it, have a look at it. Same with eBooks. A lot of times, the information um, it's only relevant to the people reading it. So sometimes when you read it, I mean, the problem I have is I look at stuff um, from my own perspective because I already have a lot of the information. So when I'm trying to write it, it seems too simplified for me, but it's because I've already done a lot of this stuff. So that's another thing I'm working on as well at the moment, the ebooks. The ebooks is something that I've got several half written um, and I need to sit and just focus on getting these finished. Um, that's what I'm working on at the moment. So why I'm not getting dragged into expat stuff is quite simply A, I'm too busy and B, I'm not interested. Um, stuff on Spain. Spain's, Spain's moving along. We're actually going to move back to La Mata as well. We're just putting the wheels in motion at the moment. We're going to have a look at another, another apartment tomorrow. Um, the owner of this one's moving back. She, she's not happy where she was and I'll be honest, this is quite normal in Spain. People seem to go, yeah, you can live there for, and then it's like, no, I've decided I want to move. So from that point of view, it's like, okay, I half expected it anyway, so not really fast. Just a bit frustrating after doing a lot of the repairs. And this is why when people say about the socket and things, this, this is the prime example of why not to do it, um, unless it's really bugging you. Um, so from that point of view, a little bit, frustrated in the sense that we've painted their house, done all this, but hey ho, been here a year, so can't really grumble. Um, but yeah, we're gonna to move to somewhere else, back up to La Mata. And I've gotta admit, I'm looking forward to it. The, the morning strolls along the beach, having the coffee down by the beach, um, having the ability to go to the nature park from my evening walks and stuff, looking forward to all that stuff again, because we're a little bit too far here. We've got the swimming pool, tennis court, etc. But in all honesty, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. The car, the car saga is still ongoing. Um, the, I haven't badmouthed the garage yet, uh, quite simply because they are trying to fix it. Now, I, I could be really annoyed in the sense that they sold me it, so they should know, but I know with cars these days, uh, there's that much you can't see because, you know, um, Although it's been diagnosed under with a computer or whatever, um, if somebody's messed around with it before it got to the garage, then I can't really blame the garage. They are putting it into Vauxhall now, which is one of the reasons I'm holding holding back on that because quite simply they're putting it into the main dealer to have a look at it. Um, the last mechanic actually done some damage to the engine. I know they have. 
Um, because what I what it was is I noticed when they brought it back, it was giving it, and I had a look under the bonnet and I could see oil around the head, and I just thought this is going back, and I took it back. And they gave me another car temporary because the the owners are on holiday. Uh, the owner's come back, he's had a look at it and he knows what I'm complaining about. He's now put it into Vauxhall. So at the end of the month, that's in the Vauxhall. A bit frustrating because I was hoping to drive over to the UK next month. Well, that's now on hold. Um, but, like I said, it's been dealt with, which is the main thing. Uh, what else is going on? The locksmithing stuff I'm still doing. Uh, locksmithing is now another business entity I'm working on as well. Because you've got to remember, a lot of people want to know how to do this stuff. And I'm not just talking from a training point of view, but they'll want to buy this stuff. And they want to buy this stuff. So I'm now looking at setting up a different channel um, that will teach people how to pick locks and also where to buy all the stuff from. So I'll be setting up a drop shipping business on this stuff as well. Why am I telling you? Because it's one of the few where I can actually tell you something I'm actually doing. Um, because unless you want to buy all the locks stuff and try and copy it, which I don't mind anyway, you know, but some of the other ones are much easier to replicate what I'm doing. But that, even though that generates $200 a month, once it's set up, it's every month. And this is one of the bits people forget is they go, well, you've spent like a month setting this up and you only made $200. Yes, that's a bit like the website I set up six years ago, that makes a thousand dollars, it makes a thousand dollars every month for the last six years. Um, yes, it took a month to get it set up, but beyond that, it's the odd email, it's auto, auto generating. This, once I film all the videos on how to pick these locks, and then I put the, the books on how to do this. You can buy the e-books on the logs, how to identify, how to move pins, what types of pins they are, the ones with little grooves and things on there. Um, I sell the e-books and I don't even have to write the e-books. I'll quite happily just take the 10%. Um, in the same with all the lock pick stuff. If you've got people doing that, then a lot of the headaches just gone because you're not dealing with supply, you're not dealing with um, constantly advertising and marketing because you just push it all into YouTube, into a website that's focused on this, and away you go. It's done. Same with the, like I say, I'm doing stuff on the Forex trading, day trading, swing trading. Uh, there's separate courses for each one and how to set up certain bits of software. These are focused for specific people. Um, they're specific niches where people will pay for those specific bits of information. And the fact is when you break it all down to that, because the funny thing is you'll get people that go and buy a course on day trading, then going, course is rubbish. I tried day trading and I lost all my money. You didn't understand day trading. That was the problem. It's a bit like locksmithing. If you're not dexterous, I would not advise doing this because it takes time. This is why this sits on my desk. This is a new type of lock for me. This is the dimpled type, which is the, it's on the side there. So this is a new type compared to the Yale type. Although the mechanism is near enough identical, it's just that you're picking sideways with a different type of pick. But you've got to understand the tensions and things, which doesn't come from watching a YouTube video. This is not lynda.com. This is where you sit and go, okay, I've got that, let me try. And then you just sit there, like if I'm uploading a video or something, I'm sitting here with a lock pick in my hand, picking the lock. And I just keep going, unlock it, lock it again, unlock it, lock it again, unlock it. And then once I start doing the locksmithing, I'll start collecting old locks as well, because then you sit testing other locks instead of just a training lock. So that's how you get better because different locks have um, different types of things in there. You'll get some with um, these, the, the pins will give false positives and things like that. But you need to understand what you're doing with it. But I'm not getting into that side today. Um, so things are progressing. I also met with a nice guy yesterday. Um, we've been talking about some business ideas as well. So some other stuff for Spain that's coming up as well. Um, can't really talk about that yet at the moment because we're 
deciding how, how we're going to push this forward, but ultimately we're looking at pushing some ideas in the right direction. So with that, it's all good. Um, crypto markets, crypto markets are still down. There was four days of some good news and it's now tanked again. And I do think it's either going to tank today or we're going to see some recovery over the next two or three days. Um, but ultimately the, the markets are down. I've got, where's my portfolio? My portfolio is exactly where it was. I haven't lost any money, but the problem was I was hoping for it to go up to do some selling because I want to transfer um, some money from uh, what would be the ICOs, the businesses, into um, Ethereum and Bitcoin to catch them on the rise. But the problem is because the markets haven't really moved from the ICO side, although my money is pretty s stable, I would rather... Um, have some positive news with one of them actually just like booming and then dropping. I mean, this is what I've been saying to people about these mainnet launches. A lot of people seem to not understand what's going on in with blockchain technology and things like that. So where there should be some positive news, there has been very little because the information's there, but I don't think a lot of people understand the implications of taking a business to the next level. So. It's a bit slow going, but at the end of the day, I'm not crying over it. I mean, at the end of the day, I only put 400 in and I'm still sitting on a fair chunk of change. Um, but I am getting to that point where I'm getting a bit itchy, where I need to maybe cash some of it in and use it for somewhere else um, that it can grow faster. And that's one of the things I do recommend. If you start getting a position where things are becoming slow and you're thinking, what should I do now? To, do something, you know, they're, 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 I'm not saying do something rash or do something without thinking, but I'm sitting there, like myself, I'm sitting there going, okay, the locksmithing, I need some more equipment. The maintenance stuff, I need some more equipment. So if I cashed in, say, $2,000 out of my crypto and put a big order in for Screwfix UK or whatever, or um, some of the companies that I know in the UK that do the locksmithing gear, uh, would that be a bad thing? Well, the answer is no, because it's a long-term solution, because getting a better power drill, for example, um, and other bits and other tools that will be useful for just general stuff is worth the investment. But ultimately, things are, in, are okay. Um, moving house I'm looking forward to as well. So even though it's another pain in the backside move, um, I am looking forward to it. And yeah, thanks for watching.